I happened upon a, a site that had Indian names. And I started just scrolling down the names and I found the name Pavati, which sounded really cool and it means clear water in Hopi Indian. This is how I got my start in manufacturing right here, this broom. Uh, started sweeping the floors because I was too young to work any of the machines. Next thing you know, I'm cleaning toolboxes and from there I'm assembling them, fabbing them up, all the way through designing them. We painted every beam in this entire shop. My dad and I by ourselves uh, because we couldn't afford to have anybody else do it. So our blood, sweat, and tears is in every inch of this building, literally. If things continue the way they are, we'll be building another one this size uh, in the next year or two. We started off doing the semi-truck heavy rig boxes and got into some other areas, flatbeds, pickup truck toolboxes, big aluminum service bodies, and now we're building fishing boats. The door idea came really from my grandfather. Uh, he was dying of cancer, and before he passed away, nothing that he liked better than going out, taking a ride in the boat, and catching some fish. Towards the end, he was really going downhill, and it was breaking my heart to see him get in and out of the drift boat. These high side drift boats are really tough to get in and out of, so I got the idea of putting a, put a door in the boat. Unfortunately, my grandfather passed away before he got to see the, the finished boat, but it's just a really trick thing. The response has been huge. And you know, a lot of the guys that have time and money to go fishing are older people, so getting in and out of the boat is a, a big one. Before we even got started with the boats, before it was even a drawing on a computer or a napkin, we knew that we were going to be successful just because the attitude that we have and our work ethic. What makes it fun is getting together with two or three guys and bouncing ideas off and finally coming up with something that not only looks good, but works. Yeah, and sometimes it works even better than you originally imagined it would. Exactly. And that's really exciting. That's, yeah. You have a bar napkin with some scribbles on it. Come back to the shop, get the group together, and everybody starts throwing those ideas into a pot, and by the time you're done, you've got sketches on actual paper. Designing the door on the side of the boat was, was very difficult. You have so many different shapes and angles, and the software is very delicate about that. Everything has to be on flat planes. Well, the side of a drift boat, there are no flat planes. And you built it three times before we got one that was functional the way we liked it? It took us two or three uh, different versions to make one that we were satisfied with enough to put in the first boat. That's why every failure is glorious. <laughs> You're one step closer to the final product. As you can see, there's a million dimples on these things. Actually, 620 on a 17-footer like this. What they do is create air pockets underneath the boat, so when you're rowing, it makes it a lot easier to row. The machine that we have, it actually forms these divots right into the sheet metal, creates cavitation, forces air underneath this boat, makes it skate on top of the water instead of down in it. My favorite part to weld is typically anywhere up around this part up here because you can lay a nice, smooth, really, what I would call a pretty bead. I think my favorite moment of looking at what I built is when I'm actually with my family down at the river and I see one floating and I get to, you know, point it out and show my kids and see the excitement in their faces. There's definitely a lot of pride that's involved because you're doing something that can't be done anywhere else. It's the, not only is it the first time that it's been done, so it's something that's new and it's exciting, but it's something that can't be jobbed out. What gets me up in the morning is, is the challenge. Coming to work and figuring this stuff out and designing stuff that you can be proud of. At the end of the day, you have something. You've made something. There's you know, you've added value. Yeah, something that'll last the ages. It's going to be around long after we're gone. Yeah.